There's no question about it. Our people are what drive our company. Uh, we've taken something small and grown it into something, you know, which is becoming very big. Uh, the people that we get a chance to work with every day, our team, it's amazing. Well, we've been in business for probably 30 years. We started out as a very small company. Growth is one of the hardest things to manage, to be able to deliver the same services that you start out at, at day one. So training is very important, customer service, and above all, just generally being hospitable and living what that means. We are as much into the events that we do as our guests are and I think that really makes a big difference. We care far more about the little things. We care more about the feeling and the excitement behind the party, not just the food and the beverage. I'm going to care as much about their event, if not more, than they are. Uh, I'm going to worry about the little things. Uh, I'm going to make sure that, you know, if there's something that's going on with the event that's wrong, I'm going to bring it up and fix it before they notice it or before it becomes a problem in, in their mind. But I think the level of product that we put out. We have pride in what we do um, and it's important that we exceed the expectations of the clients and that's not always an easy thing. Uh, certainly on a day like today when there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of vendors involved. I guess it was about a year, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, I can't remember, that I had the chance where David and Christine brought Mr. McGraw and our bridegroom and his wife to 677 Prime where we got a chance to just feed them dinner. And all we did, we didn't feed them anything that was really on our menu tonight. We fed them dinner that, and talked. And when we fed them in dinner and talked, I feel like we just connected. I feel like we had a great connection with the family. I feel that the salespeople that I had there with me and myself, that we just kind of could understand what each other wanted out of this. And then slowly but surely, over the, the months, our, my sales team worked with David and Christine to really put this perfect thing together. David working behind the scenes, designing what Clifton Park Rental has for us here today in these tents uh, and the magnificent, you know, just fixtures that they've created for this one event. And then about two weeks back, three weeks back, we had our tasting. The McGraws came again. We tasted our menu. We talked about details. We've had three or four individual meetings with David and Christine, as well as ourselves. I don't know how many countless meetings they had without the food and beverage component involved. Uh, we started working this weekend. We were here on Thursday doing a final meeting, counting all of our glass in China. We had a team stay over last night to work right away this morning. There's a team staying over tonight that's working into tomorrow and serving them brunch. We are here to serve. We are here to serve from start to finish. And if we do our jobs, which I'm confident that we're gonna, they won't have to worry about a thing. Max and Carol's wedding. Okay, we had a chance to meet Max and Carol yesterday. It was my second time meeting them. Uh, Danielle's first time meeting them. They're a laid back couple, okay? They really just want to enjoy this wedding, okay? They're not about overdoing it. It's about the service, it's about them having a great time. They have a great band tonight. It's gonna to be fun, it's gonna be funky. They have a beautiful backdrop ceremony area. The tent company that's here, I mean, everything that we're working with tonight is, you can't get better than this. Today's party is about details, details, details. Service, service, service. Danielle knows just as much of it as I do, okay? Kayla's role here today is kind of our bouncer. Kayla just left, she's going over to set the brunch for tomorrow morning at the client's home because they're on their way over to the ceremony area. Amy's over there at the ceremony area. Ben is taking care of uh, mom and dad tonight. Joelle and Amy are taking care of our bride and groom. Okay, and then our uh, groom's parents are being taken care of by Deanna and Chandra. These plates are gonna move because we have a six foot wooden board coming here. Um, this is where the tomatoes, the mozzarella are all going to be placed on that board. So this is essentially just the riser for it. It's just giving it a little bit of something for underneath instead of wrought iron risers. Then the chef is gonna be behind it, um, kind of explaining what the tomatoes are and, and cutting up mozzarella and replattering them. We have a great staff that we've been cultivating all summer long. You guys have been fabulous. Okay, so we, we want to point in everything so that there's no focus and that'll time our kitchen too. Do we have any idea how long Best Man and Man of Honor Toaster? I can find out. Because that's because of the a la carte service tonight out of the kitchen, the restaurant service with no covers, everything's coming live off the line. Yeah. So it's real important that we have some sort of a plan. Okay, excellent. Danielle, you, you have three well coming down. You need three more. Five, six, seven. Okay, excellent, Kevin. Come here. Listen, go. 
Kevin, that's it, that's it, that's gone, that's gone. Hang on, well, I need three. Two with have no blue cheese. Yeah. Two of the wells have no blue. Beef only. Okay, great job, go. Here we go. Okay, who's next? When you think about your wedding day, just close your eyes for a minute. What do you see? How do you want to feel? Uh, how, how can we make this day awesome for you? And it really is kind of an evolutionary process because interestingly enough, um, what a client thinks they may want on day one could be different on day 30 or day 60 or day 90. As caterers, there's nothing that's not on our list. We go beyond food and beverage. We cook great food, we, we make great drinks, we create great atmosphere. If something needs to be done, we do it. And it's hard to say what it's a step-by-step -step is because it depends on the day. If today brings rain, we bring umbrellas, we bring squeegees, we bring towels. If today brings sun, we bring sunscreen, we bring covering, we bring umbrellas. If today brings cold, we bring jackets. We, we bring whatever the day demands we bring. We've really mastered um, our customer service. And that's really, that's really what we sell. It's not just food. It's the whole experience. And that's really ultimately what, whatever the guest leaves with is the impression that they have from the event. That's really what it's all about. Uh, the people that we have that put their, that dedicate their lives, that dedicate their time and their efforts into making other people's lives and events that they work for, that fabulous is what separates us. It's the hospitality that we provide for them. Our food and beverage is top notch, it can't be beaten, but our hospitality is what takes us from good to great.